Hi everybody, my name is Mary. Um, this is my first YouTube channel. I um, love paper crafts and sewing, um, making jewelry, and um, I finally decided to start my YouTube channel. So I want to share my interests and my creations with you guys. Um, today is, this is my first video, so I kind of wanted to go over um, eyelets and washers. Um, when I, I, I love junk journaling, but I also make um, fabric travel notebooks. Um, they're not your typical size, but um, they work. I like these. I like, I make them a little bit bigger so you can fit more items in there. But um, I was having an issue with eyelets. Um, let me show you. So the first kit that I bought, which I was super excited, I got this on Amazon and I loved it because it had all these different color um, eyelets and it came with washers, but they were not working very well. The paint chips off of them. Um, I just did one right now and where did it go? I'm sorry, but um, they leave really sharp edges and it doesn't really, I don't like it because I want my products to be, um, oh, here it is. <laughs> This is awful, awful. So I don't know if you can see, there's a sharp edge right there. Um, and I don't like that. Obviously that's um, not useful um, and it doesn't look right. And somebody can cut themselves and scratch themselves. And I have actually cut myself and I told the company, but they didn't um, respond. So, however, um, I think it's the tools that it comes with, they're not very good. Um, and plus, the like I said, um, the paint chips off of them. I don't, I, I don't care for them. So I decided to order some more through, um, not Etsy, through AliExpress. And it takes a while to get them, but they are um, nice quality. Um, but I was using the same tools that came with the other kit that I just showed you, and they were not, you know, giving me smooth edges like I like. Um, so, um, I ordered, the, the company I ordered the eyelets, I decided to uh, um, order the tools from them as well. It took a month to get, but um, I just tried them out. I received them like two days ago and I absolutely love them. Um, I'm gonna place their information under the comments. Um, before I had a hard time finding, like, I guess the reason I'm making this video is because I looked on YouTube to see if there was anybody um, using eyelets, and they are, but they're for certain, certain companies, and um, they just, they were not working with the eyelets I already had, and I didn't want to end up throwing a whole bunch of eyelets, even though they were very inexpensive. Um, I think one set for 100 eyelets, I paid 68 cents, which is extremely good price, I think. So um, I didn't want to just throw them away, though. So like I said, I ordered the tools from the company that I ordered the eyelets from, and they are working awesome. Um, their tools look exactly the same, but for some reason, there are some differentiations. Differ there's some differences in the tools. And um, I don't know, I think the sizes, the measurements are off and therefore that's why I wasn't getting a nice, um, uh, I wasn't getting a really nice, um, I don't know what you wanna call it, but it, it wasn't finishing off the eyelets well enough to my liking or nice enough at all. Like I showed you that that one had a rough edge and like I said, I did cut myself and I'm about to cut myself again with these, that one. So let's put that to the side. Um, but I wanted to talk about, you know, the eyelets that I bought. I wanted to, I don't want to recommend them, but I just, I want people to have an idea that, um, you know, I was able to find a good product. And I just, if anybody needs eyelets, I guess this would be the place um, where my video would hopefully um, help you guys get the eyelets you need because um like I said they're just 
there's just not a whole lot of videos on eyelids and how to use them and um I was struggling and I was about to rip my hair off because out of my head <laughs> because I had a show to do and I made like 20 of these travel notebooks and I had no eyelets that were working. Each eyelet that I was using was coming out horribly and so I was so stressed out. So what I did notice is I do have, we are memory keepers and these I do, I do want to say that these are awesome but they only work well with memory keeper crocodiles. And so I like the crocodiles, but the problem is, is that um, this one, the small one does not reach to the middle where I need it to. And um, I, I just had no other way of doing it. So um, what I do is I put tape and measure where I need them to be. And so then I go and make my holes where I would mark with the with the handheld one which works nicely works well so like that i hope you can see that i put two dots and so it's okay with this one so i can go in and you know find the dot and then punch a hole and that works fine it works great but i was having a hard time seeing where this is um in place now if somebody knows an easier way to do this I please let me know because I was struggling um, I was using it to make the middle one only but it was kind of stressful too because I was um, worried that it wasn't gonna come out centered and I couldn't see and so with the handheld tools you can with the hole punch the handheld one you can see where you want to put I mean, it's not perfect either, but you can see a little bit more where um, the hole is. And so where you want to place your punch and awesome, that came out great. So um, not perfectly centered because, you know, this is just me showing y'all quickly. Um, when I do, I might take my time and I slow, you know, I try to make sure that I have it all measured and it's takes me a minute to do it so and by minute i mean like 10 minutes to do one whole thing not the sewing part but just punching the holes and putting the eyelets so um the the eyelets that i ordered and the washers i ordered them from kubigo kubigo i think that's how you say it um like i said they're 65 cents um and the tool no they're 68 cents the tools were 65 cents which that's a very good price i think so um even if they don't work out well enough you didn't really spend a whole lot of money but you know we don't as crafters i i i don't like you know personally i don't like just throwing my money away on items that are not going to work but we are memory keepers are great. The only problem with them is you only get 30 and um, you just have to, I was being very cautious and careful not to ruin any of them. So like I said, I had 20, eyelet, 20 of the booklets that I had to do. And so I was being very careful with them. They're not cheap. They're, you know, they're not super expensive either, but you don't get a whole lot. So um, if you can still find them, they're also kind of hard to find. You have to order them online. I think I found them on Blitzy um, and I ordered a bunch of them. So I still have tons of them. And like I said, I love them, but I was, I wanted different styles and through, you know, you can find them on AliExpress different. Like I have these cute little flower ones, which I adore. Um, so that's, there's more options, but you, you just want a good product. You want to make sure that the product you get is going to work and not going to leave you um, with, you know, a terrible outcome or horrible edges. And you don't want people ripping their, um, cut, cutting themselves or, you know, tearing some paper or whatever they're working on, scratching their items. I don't want that. So I wouldn't want that for somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate 
the five millimeter and the four millimeter. So this five millimeter is one of the first ones that I purchased and I was having a hard time with the other tools that I bought from Amazon, which like I said, are not very user friendly. And so here's the anvil. You put the grommet in and then you put, I already made the holes pre um, earlier, so not to make too much noise um, on the camera. So here's the washer. Make sure the washer has like an um, one end that's kind of like divoted or kind of like there's a little ditch around so it's not flat or rounded. The right side is more um, concave, oval, like um, rounded I should say and you know you can kind of, you can tell which side is the correct side and which one is not. It's important to use the right size <laughs> Um, eyelet setter as I learned in another video I was trying to make this is like my fifth video and um, I was using the wrong size and it got stuck and I had to stop recording so and I'm not very good with um, with um, the with editing videos yet so um, here we go and there we go and it came out really nice, uh, if you can see, hopefully. I really do like these tools and these eyelets. They make me very happy. Um, yeah, little things like this make, my, make me extremely happy. So um, now I wanna do the four millimeter. So um, here's a four millimeter. Let's use I don't know what color this is. Okay, I think this is a gun metal or something. Um, here's the actual eyelet. And here's the washer. So they're kind of like a black color. And they're smaller. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. You want to put it on the... I'm using this as an example because I messed it up, like I said. Well, I messed it up previously. That's why I had to order all those memory keeper um, eyelets. Actually, I messed up two booklets, which is, you know, it takes me a while to sew these. And like I said, you just don't want to be messing up your stuff um, and fabric. And it was the last of the fabric I had. And so, yeah, uh, it upset me a bit. Um, so that's why you just kind of want to make sure you get the right tools. But that's why I'm testing them out on this because this is what I make, right? This is not just what I make, but mostly this is what I use my eyelets on. Um, I do plan on using it on other projects and I'm gonna make a little tiny little booklet in just a second and show you how they work. So let's hope everything goes well. Oh wow, I love this. I hadn't made this one yet, but I hope you can see that clearly. Um, here's the four millimeter and the five millimeter and I think they look really nice so um, you can get cool stuff on Aliexpress as many of us know but I just kind of wanted to you know it's nice to know where people are getting their stuff and you know where they're getting um, good items from and oh I love it it looks so cool it looks really nice on the other side too and they're not all dented and warped like hmm, here's one uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it crushed my flower and it messed it up so oops sorry right there um, but anywho so these tools are great love them I do love my crop adapt but like I said they work best on um, the memory keepers I had not had very good success using um, non-memory keeper um, eyelets so um, I did try out the the new tool the new tools on the colored eyelets and like I showed you all the terrible one with the sharp edges this one didn't came out much better but the paint chips off so I don't know if that's just the norm with painted eyelets but um, it definitely gave it a better setting than the original tools it came with. So tools, eyelets, 
from Kobe Go. Kobe Go? I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Awesome. So here's what I wanted to make. I wanted to try it out on paper too, so y'all can see that it works on paper as well because I want to use it to make tags and um, here we go. So I thought I'd make a little tiny, um, I had scrap paper, tons of scrap paper from other booklets that I made. And so I'm putting this nice craft, craft um, paper on there with pretty writing. And so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to punch a hole using the four millimeter hole punch. And I'm going to try to center it as well as I can. Here we go. Wait. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Let's hope this works because I could use um, the Cropadow. I'm sure that would work fine. But I just wanted y'all to see how this hole punch works with how many pieces of paper. I think it's like six pieces three folded in half and then with the um cardstock um with the craft paper actually it's eight and nine ten pieces basically ten and so it worked it worked really nice too so the hole punch is awesome as well and i got it from the same company and for the same price. The only thing is you need something sharp to kind of poke everything out. Which, anywho, I'll fix that later. So I think I want to use the bronze colored um, grommets. Ooh. I mean, eyelets. I keep calling them grommets. Now it's a little thick. So I'm going to have to push down and I think I had it the wrong side. Wait, is this? Yes, it is four millimeters. And here we go. And I got to find the right tool because I don't want to put the wrong tool. Let's hope this works. Ah, and it did. And it looks nice. I think it looks nice. So here's a little, I mean, I can put a little tag or put it in one of my um, journals. Um, I think it looks really cute. So works great on paper. These items, I mean, these eyelets. And I like using the... The washers because I think it gives it a more finished look. I think it comes out nicer. So I want to thank um, y'all for watching. Um, I hope it was informative. Um, the like, subscribe. This is my first video, and hopefully there'll be more to come, and hopefully they're more exciting. I'm, I apologize if this wasn't too exciting, but it's my first video, and so I thank y'all for you know watching this um, video and liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, thank you. Um, bye.